Hey everyone, it's the patient toddler coming at you with a quick news flash. And in this one, we are going to look at the next drops. We have a Spider-Man drop and a Star Wars drop. We are going to look at fake news that are coming from Vivi France apparently. And we are going to look at the biggest news, which are coming from the Immutable X ecosystem. But before we start, please keep in mind that I'm a crypto and NFT investor and not a financial advisor. So please do your own research before you ape full degen into the Vivi collectibles or the Ecomi token. Also, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider dropping a like, subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about those news in the comments below. This is a free way of helping my channel to grow. At this point, I also want to thank my rare hodlers who are either Patreons or channel members of this YouTube channel. Now with that out of the way, let's get started and jump right into the topic. So as we can see here, we have another drop series of comic drops lined up for VV collectibles and it is starting on Monday the 20th June 8 a.m. PT. We are dropping the five issue torment arc of Marvel Spider-Man from writer and artist. So has written the story and designed all the panels from Todd McFarlane. And we all know Todd McFarlane is very famous on the VV app because he has designed the very first Batman statue that we have on the app. So we will have five days, five drops probably starting from Monday on. So get another five times 699 ready if you want to participate in that comic drop. I'm still considering that one. Taking a quick look here at Wikipedia, we can see Torment is a story arc written by Todd McFarlane that encompasses the five first issues of the new ongoing Spider-Man comic book. It was published in 1990 by Marvel Comics. The comic was recorded breaking sales success and helped start the next stage of development in modern age of comic books, which would lead to the formation of image comics and the rise of spectacular market. Moving on, we also got the next Star Wars drop here queued up on the VV app and that is the one for Star Wars I Am Your Father's Day collection. Whether on Earth or in a galaxy far far away, the bond between children and the fathers in their lives is as strong as any force you can imagine. The Star Wars I Am Your Father's Day collection featuring art by Jeffrey Brown drops Sunday 19th of June at 8 a.m. PT. So, so this content is drawn by an artist that is somehow affiliated with Star Wars as it seems because they still have the copyright and the TM at Lucasfilm here in the panel and also using the official Star Wars logo. So I think we can count this as an official Star Wars drop. As we can read here, Jeffrey Brown, born in 1975, is an American cartoonist who wrote the non-canon book Darth Vader and Son, as well as its three sequels, Vader's Little Princess, Good Night Darth Vader and Darth Vader and Friends. And probably we are going to see all of them sooner or later on the Vivi app. Moving on here to something rather unpleasant. I was really happy to see this screenshot here by Vivi France and it basically showed that someone has been invited to the KYC process on the VV web app. It says here, welcome. This verification procedure includes three steps and so on with a button saying begin KYC process. But as we can read further in this tweet, it says here users having access to the clickable payout button is an error. We apologize for this inconvenience and disregard it. The official KYC will go live when the web platform is publicly accessible and you will receive an email official invite when this time comes. First of all, I need an invite to the web platform first. I didn't get one yet. And to be honest, this sounds all way too familiar because we have seen this on February the 18th of this year already when we saw this amazingly designed screenshot here where it says payout method application status Proof of life for MTL is coming. Fluid timelines aside, I'd appreciate you using better judgment here and take us at our word. Here's the beta KYC information screen. Approval pending continue. You get the picture. This was in the 18th of February. So yes, we have seen 
a new fake out, so to say, in the terms of MTL KYC web app. But at this point also being said, I'm personally convinced that they will be bringing it, that they will be launching the web platform in probably July and that they will follow it up with the KYC process and it eventually with MTL. But we also know as said here, fluid timelines, that's exactly what we are seeing. And the last one on my list is the biggest news and the most bullish news in my opinion. And also here we have a bullish and a bearish scenario. I will not spare you both of those. So as we can see here, this is the immutable X side where it says powering the next generation of Web3 games. And we all know that the VV app and Ecomi have migrated to the Immutable X Ethereum layer 2 to mint the collectibles onto Immutable X. And there is a reason for choosing Immutable X and the whole ecosystem over a project, for example, as Polygonmatic or as Ethereum. Obviously, against Ethereum, there is the point of the high gas fees, but against Polygon, not anymore. And as we can see here, we have interoperability and with brand names that you can see here on the right side we see Disney and also Marvel coming up in this feed. So the bullish side of this is Disney and Marvel are listed here because interoperability of Disney and Marvel collectibles which includes then all of the comics on the app that are Marvel brands which are at the moment, most of those, I think, despite the Tarzan comic and the all the Disney and the Star Wars collectibles would be also subject to this interoperability, which is way better than what we have expected before. The bearish scenario here is that they are only doing this because Disney and Marvel on the side are also launching projects like DC did with the HRO cards that are also somewhat included in the Immutable X ecosystem, but that the Disney collectibles and the Marvel collectibles on the VV app are locked in this walled garden of the VV app and stay there because VV wants to maintain the control over them and wants to have the back and forth of the gems and the gem fees within that VV app. Obviously, we know licensors are ultimately interested in having their brand circling around most of the channels where visibility is going to those specific user bases. So it's in the interest of, of Disney with the sub brand Star Wars and Marvel to have these collectibles going out of the VV app and capitalizing on secondary fees also outside of the VV platform and on the immutable X market and eventually on OpenSea and other markets that are out there. But I think we should see and think in both scenarios. I think more likely than not, we are going to see interoperability for our collectibles, but there's always a chance that this is not the case. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm already at the end of this video and please let me know in the comments below what you think about the comic series about this little Star Wars drop, what you think about MTL, KYC and so on. And ultimately, let me know what you think about these bullish Immutable X news. And wherever you are on the world, have yourselves a great morning, evening, day, night or afternoon and see you in the next video.